watching Cheap Crafty Girl on YouTube, and I love her. She heard from someone that these um, tackle boxes from Walmart are perfect for washi tape. So I got one the other day, and um, I put some washi tape in, in this one. This is my little stash. Well, then I went to Hobby Lobby, and I have a whole bunch more washi. So, I ended up getting two more of these same containers. I'm going to organize my washi, and then I'm going to come back and show you how it looks. It all goes absolutely perfect in here. I love the way it fits. They're easy to get out. Of course, that's for me because I have teeny tiny fingers. Um, the woman from Cheap Crafty Girl on YouTube, she has a little hard time getting them out, but I don't. I have sausage fingers, and they work okay for me. Well, and if I can't get something out, I will just take the scissors and pop it out like that. Anyway, I will be back. Pause. And we're back. Oh, let me mute the television. So I have organized my washi. Um, I've left some room here because I tend to favor pinks. And I'll probably rearrange it about 500 more times. Anyway, oh, and if you see this bruise on my arm here, that is from me being so graceful. I passed out the other day as I was walking down the hall, fainted, hit the wall, scared the crap out of my 19-year-old daughter who swore if I did not talk to her, she was going to call 911. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm recovering. i got to go to the doctor tomorrow, and he's probably not going to be real happy. Anyway, here is how I've kind of color-coordinated my washi. I mean, you know, like this one has yellow, orange, and pink. This green, we couldn't stuff it here, so we stuffed it here. So I've got, like, all of this. This is a combination of... Um, Hobby Lobby washi, Walmart washi, Target washi, Dollar Tree, and that's it, right? Yeah, that's it. Oh, no. eBay and Etsy. <laughs> anyway, okay, so this is my first one. This is the second one. And we kind of kept it, you know, somewhat color-coordinated. All my blacks, and then, you know, words, and... <sighs> my favorites and then you know we just kind of kept them grouped sort of together you know all these right here are well actually I think all of those yeah all of these ones here and maybe that one are all Dollar Tree anyway it doesn't matter um I hate I hate I hate when someone sits and I'm watching a video and they'll go oh I got this one from Tuesday morning and oh look I got this one from Jose Schmose's store I don't do that because I don't care. I buy washi. If I see it, I buy it. Anyway, so this is my second one. And I have not counted to see how many total rolls I have yet. But I will. And this is the beginning of the third one. These right here pissed me off because um, they're like nothing. There's like, I think about four feet, maybe three feet of freaking tape on these. And I got, I ordered these off of Amazon, and I was like, what? I was like, no, surely that's not what they look like. Oh, yes, it was. And I gave them the sh ugliest review. And they credited my money back and told me, oh, don't send it back. So I'll hang on to it. When my granddaughter starts coming over again, I will just give them to her. And she can have fun doing whatever she wants to do. This is my card. This, I used to work in the oil field. This is my rig pass. But this is my card that I tear all my washi off with. I got a few samples in here from places that I bought. Anyway, my little, you know, giveaway deals. And then these, these are tall. So they won't, they don't, I don't, you know, they won't close. So I had to lay them down. And this one, this is the only one I've ever seen like this. But this one is fabric. It's fabric washi. It is the strangest thing I've ever seen. And it's got a paper backing. But check that out. And where did we get this one? I just said I hate doing that. I, I cannot remember where I got it. But I got it somewhere. But anyway, it may have come from 
It didn't come from Hobby Lobby. It may have come from um, Amazon. Anyway, it doesn't matter. But <laughs> by Monday, shh, don't tell anybody, this will be full. And I'll probably start it on a fourth one. Because I'm going to Michael's this weekend. Anyway, it's time for me to rip this off and put my new washi sign on here. Um, but these, you can get these. Um, we bought the first one in New Mexico because we're 30 miles from there. And it cost me $3.84. Um, Cheap Crafty Girl on YouTube paid $5.50 at Walmart for hers. And my parents said that these were less than $4 because they brought me two new ones home today. So, um, and we're in Texas, so it was like three eighty four, just like in New Mexico. I mean, you know, and you can see, you take this stupid thing off, and then you can see exactly what you got. And That's a very satisfying sound. But you can see what you're looking for, and you can just look at it, grab it, and go. That way you don't have to tote, like, 16 little boxes or big boxes of washi with you. Anyway, this is mine Sarah's stash. And we've come a long way in just, what, like, three weeks? <laughs> a month? We went from having the five from Dollar Tree to having this many. Tomorrow... <laughs> Tomorrow sometime, I will do a little bitty video, and I will show you um, our sticker stash. <laughs> we have an entire Sterilite container for stickers. Oh, Sarah's going to pull it out now. No, put it up here. <laughs> this is our sticker stash. Yeah. There are so many stickers in here, and they are from everywhere. I've got Dollar Tree stickers. I've got Target Dollar Spot stickers. I love the, um, oh my, hold on. These ones, oh my gosh, we got so many from Hobby Lobby and so many from um, Dollar Tree the other day. Well, we've mostly got them from Hobby Lobby. But I mean, I've got, er oh, my words, Tim Holtz. I love everything, so... You know, we have got some of them. Look at these butterflies. I mean, Hobby Lobby. And they were 50% off, so I would not have paid $5 for four fabric butterflies. Okay, yes, I would have, but that's not the point. But, I mean, we've, you know, just the, mo the most adorable. All these petite ones came from Hobby Lobby. But, anyway, I have... Uh, become a little bit um, obsessed. I love these. I get these off of Amazon. It is an excellent deal. You always get, I already took this one out, you always get four or five different, you know, packs all in one. 56 pieces and I paid like seven bucks I think. Awesome. And then these, I got these because I plan on making some more uh, bottle cap magnets. I uh, Over there in my little craft thing, I have got the little round deals. I've got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles to make them. Owls. Trees of Life. Uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. Gosh, i got a bunch. I can't think of... Did I say Teenage Mutant, Mutant Ninja Turtles? Okay. And Hello Kitty. I mean, I've got... If... if somebody wants it, I probably have it. If not, I know where to find it. Um, I finally am getting some Snoopy stash. These came from Megan. I traded Megan some Tim Holtz for this. I probably would have done the done it differently had I known they were these kinds of... Oh, I got a stray. If I would have known they were from some kind of dove thing, but whatever. They've got some really cute sayings, and I'll probably use them on something. Or I'll give them to Riley or whatnot. Anyway, so that's our sticker stash. Probably before Monday, we'll have another one like this, because like I said, we're hitting Michael's this weekend, so yay. Go to Walmart, get you some of these little buckets, 
these little tackle boxes. These are in the camping aisle. Store your washer. You will thank me.